Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Something is not going according to plans here. Not, I, I, I kept seeing the Nine of Swords and the Hermit is at the bottom of the deck. Could be a Virgo here, King of Pentacles, the Magician, the Emperor. Yeah. Somebody thought that everything is fine, but it's not. There's a bad deal, a bad contract here. This situation is not going according to someone's plan at all. It's not. Whatever the plan was, the hermit here, I feel like someone has maybe had their eye on a person or been trying to manifest a particular person. This king of pentacles here could be um, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and someone has that heavy in their chart, especially if this is a masculine. But someone here has been digging into some type of information. And they've been trying to manifest power. Someone has wanted to, yeah, manifest power, control, authority. But I feel like a person wanted to manifest power, control, and authority by yoking themselves to another person. And I feel like... I'm picking up a feminine energy. Somebody thought that by going into a partnership with someone that it was going to bring about, um, I don't know, wealth, security, stability, prosperity, abundance. Yeah, look, Queen of Wands, two on. This person thought that they were on their way to some kind of victory, rewards, recognition, and success, and they were disappointed. Somebody thought that, yeah, by doing this deep dive of, of research, development, this person could have, look, two of pentacles, two of swords, they've juggled, they've created chaos, they've created conflict, okay, they have tried to create ruckus with every person from, from the past, like, somebody has just done a lot. Man, this is, these messages have been so, so specific. This person has contacted uh, their a, a team of spiritualists or their spiritual team. I feel like this is a person who possibly could, could be like a, a psychic medium or something, or they work a lot with their ancestors. This person did something. They, they caused some kind of destruction in order for them to inherit a gift. I feel like, honestly, somebody did something so that they could inherit, like, spiritual sight or the gift of mediumship or something like that. They wanted this as a way for them to... I'm telling you, somebody wanted more power. They wanted control. And they cloaked themselves each time they tried to manifest something here. Somebody could be, I'm getting Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo. Somebody did everything. They were, this person is honestly, to me, seems mentally unsafe, but this person has this, this feminine, has this mindset that nothing can touch them. To be honest, this person feels that I'm here and I've got the whole world in my hands. Somebody here has some kind of, even as a woman, they have like some type of God complex. Where this person feels like they can control and juggle things how they want. And they feel like they're very, very protected. So even when they do things and it comes back, this person feels like no matter what happens, everything is fine. But see, this person feels like everything is fine because of this deal that they made with the devil. 
in order for them to inherit some type of spiritual or psychic gift that has given them some type of power of, of authority of some kind. But I don't think that this is working the same as before because this person, this witch or whomever, they made a decision or if they're not doing this, they called someone to have some kind of spiritual work or something done. This didn't go according to the plan. Like this person felt like they were protected. They were untouchable. That they were moving on a peaceful, calmer waters. Something was going to go. Yeah, they were going to have wish fulfillment. Something was going to go in their favor. And yikes, they got snagged. Like they, they got stuck. This didn't go how they thought. And I feel like this individual, if you, you could be this energy now where they're looking back at you. Like, how did you escape? How did you escape? For some of you, this has to do with a relationship. Somebody could have been planning something for a trip or doing travel or your spiritual. They wanted you. Somebody wanted you to even look back on the past and, and be psyched out or, or tricked or, or bamboozled. But see, somebody here is using something. Unnatural. To try and like captivate the heart uh, or create a stronghold specifically for like a masculine. But I feel that I'm talking to a feminine who has a natural ability to make this very majestic, very powerful masculine almost like submit and surrender to you. It's because you're not trying to possess this person. That's what it is. The fact that somebody, it's a feminine, the fact that you're not trying to possess this person, you're not trying to manipulate the energies, has allowed this person to naturally come towards you to most likely even offer you some level of commitment that they're no longer offering to someone or they've refused to offer to a person because that person is trying to possess someone with control. This could be a man or woman. It could be happening to you or someone that you're connected to. Take it however it resonates. But someone here thought that through an abuse of power or maybe even some type of spiritual or psychic gift or them working with a, a group of spiritualists, a cult, covenant, or whatever, that they were going to get a desired outcome in a situation. And after all of the work they put into this, it still not did not go their way because this level of 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 power that they're going for has created so much resistance and tension. Somebody is constantly trying to force a lion to surrender. The, the strength card here, this is courage and confidence. People, this lion is going to respect. This lion cares a lot about respect. It's like the lion's pride. This, this lion can respect a person who is free spirited, who can look them in the eye and, and not try to tame them and also show no sign of weakness. When you start trying to dictate and control and possess a person, you've already lost the battle because you're weak. Somebody is fully aware that a person cannot take ownership of anything without abusing power to do so. You're weak. You're you you're a loser. A, a very sore loser. It shows you're powerless. Because you had to manipulate the situation to try to get an outcome and you still didn't get it. This is a person of power already on their own. This could even be a masculine. This person at times, they may operate out of pride and ego. This person has a lot of pride in themselves. They're not going to fall victim to, to somebody's trap. They can, it's like somebody's trying to BS somebody who is a really good BSer. Somebody has 
assume that a masculine will fall for their temptation. This could be a past person that has tried to summon somebody back to, the, yeah, this person here thought that they could summon this masculine back and get them in some type of low vibrational energy and, and I don't know, take advantage of them and, and, and get them to surrender and submit to them. And that's not what's happening. This, this, this completely backfired because the offer is going to the divine feminine. The, the real offer, the big offer, <laughs> the one who doesn't have to, to trick or treat a person for stability, security, love, attention, affection, or anything. Somebody thought that they was going to strong arm a person into making them an offer. And all they did was got themselves blocked. Judgment, temperance, and the star, the charity, the burdens here, and the illusions are over. So whatever this person did, this could have been somebody who did a breakup spell or tried to create the illusion that two people who are in a divine connection are karmic to one another. This was somebody manipulating energy in the background, working with their ancestors, doing water magic. I don't know, this person was, was sunbathing, going out under the moon. Like this person was doing a whole lot of rituals and, and energy work and manipulation and calling on dark spirits. And they did all kinds of stuff. And what they were doing was trying to create the illusion that, that a person needs to return to their past because whatever situation this person is in or that you're in or manifesting is, is toxic. Somebody wanted to manipulate energies to get somebody back into the lion's den with them. And they don't realize that whoever this masculine is, for sure, who walked away from this situation or that they walked away from, this person is not in the same energy. If this person was someone who fell for temptation in the past, they they don't do that anymore. I feel like somebody pulled the, one of their old tricks out of the out of the bag and it didn't work because somebody has elevated and evolved it, it doesn't work anymore somebody's magic is no longer effective just period somebody's ex did something here to come in between two people and what this person is doing is they're trying to cloak a divine feminine energy in their energy this person is trying to swap energies with an actual divine feminine so that the divine feminine will appear in karma but see i feel that what is happening and this is this is what usually happens when people are manipulating energy. Spirit will allow you to see what's happening. What somebody doesn't realize is that they keep on trying to abuse power to bring somebody back that does not like them, can't stand them, hates them even. And that's a very strong word, but there is no amount of manipulation because what's happening, and this may sound a bit complicated or complex, but it's really not. Somebody is orbiting someone's energy and it's reminding a person of the things that they dealt with in the past and it's making them become even more hateful towards the person which is pushing them more into healing. Somebody thinks that if they swap energies with somebody and, and try and trick or treat a person and create illusions that the masculine is going to lose love for whoever they're dealing with and is going to somehow think of them in a good way. But no. The masculine is remembering all the reasons why they don't want to be with this person or the feminine take out there could be a man doing this to a woman 
you keep orbiting this person's energy, trying to remind them of the past. And this person is thinking about the past and they're thinking about the present and their future. And someone is constantly being reminded, I will never go back to the past. I'll never. So this is like a come to me spell. Somebody did a lot. They did chaos, conflict. I'm going to do a breakup spell. I'm going to cause delays. I'm going to just throw the whole kitchen sink of magic at you. And then I'm going to sweeten you up with a love spell and make you think about me. Somebody is so over a person that there is nothing they can do to make this person see them in a good way. And when you do, from what I've heard, love spells on a person that does not like you, it makes their hatred for you intensify or that's the adverse effect like you're trying to make a person who is not for you who does not want you does not like you love you or come towards you you're gonna the opposite is going to happen they're gonna run from you and if they even like you a little bit now they're gonna hate you because somebody keeps trying to take someone's free will like i said this is the person abusing power and energy magic to get their desired outcome and it's causing nothing but death and destruction someone trying to destroy something in your life is gonna create death and ending in their life I, I just realized too, it was just a new moon in Taurus. Like somebody here, I'm assuming this is some kind of new moon ritual. Taurus definitely, you know, rules a lot when it comes to the like does Taurus rule Venus in some type of way or something? Just things that are beautiful, you know, divine feminine energy. Love. Somebody is probably sitting around taking care of themselves. Um, Bob, look, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles here. Somebody is, is taking care of themselves. They're taking care of their business. They're grounded. They're stable. They're mature. And you have this person that is coming towards you in this very aggressive like energy. Like, you know, I'm I'm gonna shake you to your core. I'm gonna piss you off. I you know, I don't want you to, this person could have done beauty spells. I don't want you to look good. I don't want you to feel good. I don't want you to work. I don't want to, if somebody, I'm telling you, they did everything. Somebody was trying to depress a person. There's a divine feminine who has been attacked because someone has chosen to be in a connection with you. Somebody wanted you depressed. They wanted you sick in bed with a bunch of sores in your back. And they honestly thought that once they finished doing all of this, that like I said, they were going to do a love spell or whatever and bring and summon someone back to them. But somebody has already chosen you to have this passion in the beginning with. You can't take this person's free will. And karma is going to be on this. Good karma is going to be the side of the person that's not trying to change universal law and energies. Now somebody is 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 upset because they've invested so much only to miss an opportunity. And they're sick. Because you're well. The sun brings about a lot of healing energy. This person did all of this stuff to you and you healed. I feel like you backfired. They were trying to keep you bound or held back and away from something here out in the cold because they didn't want you to celebrate or be celebrated. This backfired on this person. Or it's about to. Look, the moon. Three of swords. Yeah, the truth is out. Then somebody was trying to con like ruin your connection. High priestess. Two cards here of fate and the death card. 
The high priestess already knows what's destined and, and that you cannot change what's destined. And now the final judgment and justice here in the situation is going to be an ending because someone keeps trying to alter someone's timeline, their energy. Union, four ones, union is going to the person who has put in the work to master themselves and it's quickly going towards a person. You can expect some type of financial breakthrough or blessings or you quickly moving into um, having just a solid foundation. Whether it's you with someone or, or you alone. And this person is going to be blocked out for good. This just feels like I'm hearing third time's a charm. Somebody has done this several times, but the way your energy keeps on increasing or you, you, your, your level of power and protection has increased and, and it, it's completely purging this energy out. It's like an automatic backfire when this person does this. They've done it before. I feel like they've done it several times. Five to seven times. This has happened five to seven months or moon cycles or whatever. They they do this religiously. They, they It's a ritual for them. They keep doing this. But whatever they've been depending on as a way in to block you has been removed. So this person has been trying to attack like some kind of wound or fear that you have. Over time, you don't have that anymore. So this isn't working. Like something just can't attach to you. It, it, there's nothing there for it to attach to. And it's really just because you're busy being happy. But I'm telling you, this person, this person could have even tried to make you sick. For sure. This person wanted you to be very, very sick. And they definitely attacked anything heart related, even with your health, heart chakra, emotions, overall well being, how you nurture yourself and other people, and Queen of Pentacles, your overall stability, your business. You being grounded. Uh, this Queen of Pentacles, I'm saying herbs too. Some of you, you know, you could be like natural born medicine men or women. Some of you literally, you, you've had to try to heal from something that this, this very strong attack that someone sent towards you. I really do feel like it. Like somebody, you've been dealing with an attack and you've had to concoct something to heal yourself. And I feel like your intuition was telling you, just hold on. A change is coming and justice is here now and it's going to be an ending. This person is going to go to jail or like I said, they're going to be blocked out of your energy or whatever. But this problem has to be eliminated because somebody here, you know, four of pentacles, look, this is a greedy, grimy person. I don't know if this person is, has been using like a crystal ball, but they're holding on to something. Or this person wanted to hold on to a person for security or stability. You have the Ten of Pentacles or they were trying to hold you back from the Ten of Pentacles. This person didn't want you to inherit something that brings about long-term success or wish fulfillment, marriage for some of you. The Tower. And the world card, <laughs> heavy Scorpio energy, but that's that death energy. A major transformation is coming. Like there's going to be a sudden change of the energy. Yeah, somebody was trying to definitely block 
whatever empire you created alone. Look at that, cutting the deck, the empress. Yeah, somebody has watched you and monitored you. Hermit the card, more Virgo energy. And I don't know, this person could be a public figure or in the public eye. They could have a lot of money themselves, but yet they are attacking you. This person is trying to make you leave a person behind from their past. So, this almost sounds too, like too much. It's like somebody is trying to make you leave a person behind from their past. They want you to leave their ex alone so that they can come back into the picture. And see, this person may feel like they are a star, but you're a star as well. This person has met their match. The Hierophant, heavy Taurus energy here. Like I said, we do have a Taurus new moon, but there is new love here. Seven of Pentacles. The person is, the masculine is choosing to invest the four of wands in the actual divine feminine. Nine of Cups. This person is in awe of your strength. You're not with the drama. You're not watching. You're not trying to possess or control this person. This person has been able to or will be able to just naturally fall in love with you. It's the path of the least resistance. Like This person... No, they know you're not trying to make them your prisoner. The new love is who will something someone will invest in. This person. This person that you're choosing to free yourself from and not try and dictate and control, they're carrying you. And they don't want anybody to, to, to play with you at all. They're carrying you. This person has a lot of respect for you. And if this person has seen you be attacked, they have even more respect for you as the empress because you choose to lead with, with love. You choose to lead with love. This person is just like, yeah. To see all the things that you could have done while this person has been in the background. And again, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, all the things that you could have done as a result of the actions of this person who has been tormenting you or, you know, sending these attacks, somebody has recognized the strength. And this is what happens every time. When this person finishes up with these rituals and this black magic or whatever they're doing and the dust settles, they look like the fool every time. Making it very clear Who's who? There's no amount of energy manipulation that this person can do to make themselves appear as divine feminine. It doesn't stop them from trying. But this person is like competing with you. This person feels like, you see how she's on this card? Like this person's like, yeah, I'm going to get this person back. And there's nothing you can do about it. And it's like, are you serious? Like, this person is is already making plans to, like, be married to somebody else. This this person from someone's past is, is completely delusional. This could be someone's ex-wife. Like, they're completely delusional. And this masculine is just like, do you not realize that, like, I've met the person that I'm, I'm going to create a legacy with? I'm not worried about you. This person is completely delusional. Completely. And I'm telling you, this person, I feel like this person sees things online and they they try to create these tower moments to try to hold someone back from creating this legacy. This is somebody watching someone online, like stalking them. Definitely could be a Virgo. If somebody is stalking someone that's online, a public somebody out here is a public plat like figure or has some kind of platform, and this person is tracking and monitoring 
Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Like I said, Queen of Cups, Queen of... Somebody is tracking someone's love life and their finances. <sighs> I just feel like whoever's doing this is coming to the realization that they've done nothing but wasted a lot of time. And whoever this person is that someone is trying to hold on to has become completely repulsed by them because of the magic. It's all backfiring. And then this person is going to really catch karma for attacking this feminine. And this masculine is protecting this feminine. And I think that's why, or, or feminine, or whoever, somebody is protecting their person. And whoever's on the outside sending these attacks, they're very angry because they're like, why can't I get my hands on them? Because the person that you're fighting for is protecting them, dummy. <laughs> why, why can't I attack them? Why isn't it work? Because the person that you're trying to get back is praying for the person that you're attacking. Hello? I mean, duh. <laughs> I don't get it. Drama and romance. It, it's a lot of drama right now when it comes to, I don't know, this Taurus new moon, it just seems like a lot of people are very focused on love and drama. Yin and yang. There's, there's, somebody just wants to create drama. Could be a man, could be a woman because you have here yin and yang power couple. Somebody wants to create, and we saw that before, four of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Somebody is determined to create drama for this divine couple that's a power couple. They want so badly to create drama. That's all this is. Somebody has fallen in love with a person that they really want to have this power couple dynamic with. And somebody is in the background trying to sabotage you. And yeah, divine union. Yin and yang, power couple, drama, divine union. For some of you, it was just a quick little hiccup, you know, spiritual attack, nothing new, but you're still going towards divine union. Like, it doesn't matter. You see it. And this was someone's final shot at doing this. This was their final shot. They've been warned, but they tried it yet again and failed. Oh, man. I took a few days off. I come back and I'm just, the energy is exhausting. It's the same stuff. Like, I don't understand why people won't just let other people live their life. And move forward. Yeah, somebody here is moving forward peacefully towards wish fulfillment. Everything is fine. Someone has a person that wants to build power couple vibes. These two people are in the game. They balance one another out and they're going to heal. And you have this witch in the background. Oh gosh. I'm just so tired of like the third party interference that keeps showing up in these readings. It's like these people, they want to be seen. They want to be heard and recognized so bad. I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, whatever happens to all attention is not good attention. Like, I, I just don't get it. We nowadays can see that there is no such thing as shame. People have no shame these days. They will say anything and do anything for money, fame, attention, for a relationship. They just, it's no morals, no values, no nothing. It really is sad. And to do so much when it comes to manifesting love and financial abundance. I, everybody 
has their ways of, of manifesting, but manifesting things in your life that starts to interfere with the free will of another person is just completely insane. And, and again, it just shows that you're really, really weak. Why do you want something or someone that you have to force? Like, why? How can you enjoy something that you know you've you've had to steal? You've had to force it. You, you have to do rituals to get something. You're going to always live knowing that even if you get that person or the thing that you didn't, you didn't get it fair and square like you didn't it wasn't granted to you you didn't win anything like you stole it and then you spend the rest of your life looking over your shoulder because you know you stole something or you shot you took somebody from somebody else like what's the point in doing all that work Pathetic. Anyway, that's that. Um, <laughs> if you were wondering, I guess this reading is confirmation. Some of you are for sure going towards, you know, a, a nice connection. It could even be just a business partnership. But you have someone that, you know, they feel like if they're going to go out, they need to go out with the bang. And they have made it their job to sabotage you and your connections and to track and monitor every move you make and try to block anything that is coming in your future. But all I see is you've already secured the bag. So 